I, I look at guitar playing and music as therapy. I think when, you know, especially if you work in the entertainment business like I have, when you're under tremendous amounts of stress and it's constant, the ability to, to go home and play, even if you go like that, you know, and even you play three notes or put your head down and just it's commune with the instrument is to me worth um, what 10 sessions of therapy might be with a, with a psychologist. And don't get me wrong, I like psychologists. Well, I started playing guitar when I was 12 years old. What inspired me was the, uh, or 13, the Beatles. I think it's true of everybody who lived in those days. The Beatles came on, uh, you know, early, an early show when it was the uh, Ed Sullivan show. I may get the timing a little wrong on this. Uh, and I was home alone, and uh, I had started playing a little bit, but I took it dead serious when I saw them on the Ed Sullivan show. I just jumped in head over heels. And I developed a lifelong passion, not only for playing, but for collecting guitars. To me, they are uh, pieces of art. I have a small collection of guitars, and every one of them has a different story behind it, and every one of them has either a sentimental value, you know, an entertainment value. Certainly all of them have a personal, uh, a personal value to me. I would say that my most memorable experience working in the, in the, in the motion picture business was working with Christopher Reeve and Dana Reeve. And I think for obvious reasons that, you know, everyone knows Chris was Superman, but I knew him as a Superman. I mean, once the guy uh, was injured in the accident, he was forced to sort of come to grips with, what do I do with my life now that I no longer am who I, who I was? And it was a great lesson to learn. You know, it's not often that you get to work with people who are legends in your own time. People of that kind of stature, you have such respect for, and I had, I grew to not only have great respect for both Chris and Dana, but to to learn to love them, and in fact, have attempted to model a part of my life after a small part of what they stood for. Believe me, I could never measure up. They were such heroes to me, and it was a wonderful opportunity. I would say that was it. You know, so you'd think that it would be. Well, wait a minute. You spent 35 years in the entertainment business. What about working with all these huge celebrities? It, no, that becomes, that's part of the job. This became part of my life. I, I have this philosophy that if you can have something change your life every 10 years, you're an extremely lucky person.